it works. Rural Pennsylvania, where the hills roll without a care for civilization, the cell phone reception is about as inconsistent as a politician's promises, and shopping malls sprout all about. Today, we have a look at the Clarion Mall, an 80s gem right off the freeway. Clarion Mall was built and opened in 1979 by a developer known as Dominic Guinta. When the mall opened, it hosted the following anchors, Kmart and J.C. Penney, a modest lineup for a modest town. The mall also boasted a smaller third anchor known as Danks. Danks, the one-stop shop for your dank memes. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. The mall featured a modest lineup of stores and seemed to be built to take advantage of the university in the area. It would also explain how and why it clung to life for so long until recently. The mall even managed to secure a Brody's as an out parcel which unfortunately closed in 1987. Danks would also close its doors in 1995. These were only short vacancies, as Peebles came to replace Brody's, while Carmike Cinemas would renovate the old Danks space. Some mild turbulence, but nothing too bad yet. Clarion boasted a very earthy aesthetic with some funky architecture, the most obvious being that slanted ceiling. Wood paneling is also present throughout the mall, in storefronts and JCPenney, though a notable thing is that this mall reportedly had a large number of fountains at one point, all of which were filled in as planters or covered over entirely. This mall doesn't suffer too badly from it though as it does retain most of its original architecture, and most of those fountains look to be repurposed as planters. The mall has lived a relatively quiet life into the 2010s, and had 2020 happened in a much more different fashion, I would be happy to leave the history there. But unfortunately, that started the downfall for the small. Kmart closed ahead of the other anchors in 2018. No surprise there. But JCPenney then closed in 2020 amid restructuring from bankruptcy. And on top of this, tenants began to empty out of the small. Today, the mall is still open, but it is becoming a mere shell of what it once was. Will the current owners have a plan to repurpose this mall? Or will it get demolished or demauled? We can only wait and see at this time. I think it's obvious. I really, really like this mall. I did do a top 10 video recently, and it was really hard to do an honorable mentions for it. But this would have been considered for one of them. This mall looks like it's straight out of the 80s to this day. And one thing I've noticed was that this mall, while under a different company's ownership, still seems to have some connections with the Guinta family. Apologies if I'm pronouncing it wrong. But it is interesting to see that this mall still remains in the family to some degree. Maybe that's why it's still hanging around like this. If Namdar were to get this place, undoubtedly it'd be scrubbed into an unrecognizable blah, if not demauled entirely.
We are about to wrap up in a moment. If you're ever at the mall, do stop in for a bite to eat at the Red River Roadhouse. I stopped in there for a bite to eat as dinner, and I found it to be really good food. Try it for yourself. They don't pay me to say that. Alright, other than that, I do hope you enjoyed the video. Do like, share, subscribe, comment, any of that. It does help drive engagement. Something is struggling to work. Thanks for having me, Clarion, Pennsylvania. And until next time, this is Doomy Grunt wishing you and the Clarion Mall farewell and good luck in this mad, mad, mad world.